You can't gang! So this is an ABAS model. We're in an inflationary gap. Does so anybody have any questions? I love it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Econ Gang? This is Mr. Jager. Today, we're going to be talking about supply and demand, quantity controls. This is Module 9 for Krugman's Economics for AP Course 3rd Edition. If you're taking an AP class, macroeconomics class, or you're taking an introductory economics class, this is the perfect video for you. So, quantity controls. This is the maximum number of goods which are allowed to be purchased or sold. And that's the government coming in, and now they are, instead of looking at prices or dictating the price, they are dictating the quantity that can be sold. A good example of this is in New York City. There are only so many taxi cab licenses that are in the market, and that number is controlled by the government. Another example of this would be if we were to go into a classroom of 35 and the teacher wanted to control the number of A's that were coming out of that classroom, she would just dictate that, hey, look, th there's only going to be five A's given this semester. Now, the quota is a government limit on goods bought and sold. Uh, we also see that license, it gives its owner the right to supply a good or service. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at this model for nuclear power plants. Here on the vertical axis, we see the price for nuclear power plants. On the horizontal axis, we see that the quantity of nuclear power plants, we see an equilibrium point where our quantity supplied equals our quantity demanded. And so at five, we'll say this is in millions. At uh, our equilibrium price is at five million and our equilibrium quantity is at 25. Now, if the government were to come in and they wanted to put a control on the quantity of nuclear power plants in the country and they want to put that at 20, right? We see that the demand price and that's where consumers want to buy. And then we'll see the supply price which producers want to sell. And the difference between those two, right? We can see that vertical lines, that new vertical line uh, that's come in. The difference between that two, those two is known as the quota rent, right? Or as the wedge. Now, from this wedge, if we were to fill that into the original equilibrium point, we get a triangle. And in that triangle, we would get something that's called deadweight loss. And how do we figure out how much deadweight loss we get from the government saying that they only want 20 nuclear power plants as opposed to letting the market decide? You get that by doing the triangle formula, which is half base times height. Now, the deadweight loss is all the lost transactions that could have happened without the control that was in place. All right, that's going to do it uh, for us today. I want to thank everybody for uh, watching my uh, watching this video. If you could please hit that uh, subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day and peace.